In this video, I'll be showing you how to make coins in FIFA 22. This is going to be a new series where I go through and show you different investment opportunities in FIFA and new trading methods every single week. We're going to be putting this out every single Tuesday. So boys, if you want to see the next episode of this, get this video to over three likes. Yeah, let, let, let's just see if we can do it. Over three likes and I'll get that video out next week. Let's go and take a look at some of the content that we've had recently in FIFA and what we can do as traders to make some coins. So, the big SBC that everyone's talking about at the minute is this new Chiellini. This Chiellini looks absolutely ridiculous. A very, very well-rounded card. Obviously got an end of era card. But the big thing with this is that the requirements are actually very, very affordable. One team just needing 83 overall rating and a team of the week or a team of the season card the first one and the other SBC just needing a team of the week or a team of the season 84 rated. These requirements are very very good in my opinion. I think for that kind of card it's costing you what? Less than, well, without the team of the season and the team of the week, probably less than 100,000 coins. Regardless though, that's ridiculous. But the main fallout from all this being is that team of the week cards have gone absolutely sky high. Now, my first tip is going to be talking about team of the week cards. Now, if this is the way that EA are going, it's probably worth just keeping an eye on team of the week cards. We don't know what kind of content we are going to be getting over the rest of shapeshifters, but in my opinion, I think that if these go down back to like 15,000 coins, to be honest with you, even at 20,000 coins if they can go back to 30,000 again I don't think it's a bad investment I wouldn't really be trying to sit here and snipe these cards or bid on them or whatever because it's just way too competitive it's just not worth it and when we've got a team of the week SBC that you can complete anyways it's just not worth doing likewise as well if we just go and take a look at the team of the season cards these team of the season cards have gone up as well I think that yeah maybe trying to bump up the price of team of the season cards just to make them that tiny bit more desirable because I don't know I think with the way that the market's been this year it's been a lot lower than any other year and these are now up a very very high amount around four to seven thousand coins because they are needed for that SBC likewise with these if you want to invest in them you probably can get away with it when they're a bit cheaper but at the minute I would avoid them and just before we carry on boys if you want to shortcut all this make sure to go and buy some coins by clicking the link in the description and checking out Mule Factory use that code LE5 cheap now I've got loads of different ways to make coins in this video, low budget, high budget, but I just want to keep focusing on these end of era cards that are coming out at the minute. Now let's move over to this player right here, Spinozola. Spinozola is someone who is part of the Shapeshifters promo at the minute and this is something that you're going to find quite a bit with any end of era cards or good generic SBCs for players. Some of these cards are going to start to go up. For example, Spinozola went from, I think it was around 260,000 coins and he's chilling about 300,000 coins at the minute. The main reason for that is is because he's a new card and he has a good link to Chiellini. So I think that when we get new end of era cards, just keep a watch on people who directly link to them and then they can actually go up in value the cards that link to them because for example, Spinozola went up like I think about 60,000 coins, some easy coins to be made there. If you had 3 million and you're making 60k per card, you chilling 600,000 coins based off the back of that trade if you did it. Another player who went up massively as well was Paolo Maldini. Now it wasn't all of his versions but this left back version in particular did go up around 6pm last night. He is actually settling a lot better than he was doing but obviously with him being a link over to Chiellini and him being an icon as well he actually went up in price. Now you can see that with say for example we get an end of era who's Spanish. Spanish icons could go up in price providing that we do get a Spanish player that can link with the Spanish icon. A couple of players that I probably will be keeping an eye on over the next few days is going to be players like Bellerin. Now, I think with the end of eras that we've had, we actually haven't had too many La Liga ones. So I do think a La Liga end of era is on the way at some point. I don't know when that will be. But if that is the case, and say for example, it's a centre back with low requirements and a low barrier to entry, players like Bellerin could go up a ton because he will have a nice link to that Spanish player at centre back. I don't know who it's going to be. I really don't know who it's going to be but I would be taking a look at just the shapeshifters who are from the La Liga because we've not had any just yet and then I would still be looking at those icons as well but we can only really determine that when we get to that player who's end of era so let me know down in the comment section what do you think about those investments. Now if you're on a low budget I completely understand your limitations with making coins. Now an investment method which I really like doing is out of pack investing. Now I want to show you a couple of different things. Now the first one I'm going to be showing you is just going to be normal gold spinazola. Take a look at this guy's price in gold rare. Can you see any at gold rare? 
No, you can't. Of course you can't. Now, the reason for that is, is because when a card goes out of packs, the player's price will rise naturally, just due to the fact that they're not being packed anymore. So there's a lack of supply on the market. But the demand still stays the same. Now, for Spinazzola, he's an 83 rated, he's a left back, and he's Italian. So he's got good leagues and a good nation. So he's perfect for completing different SBCs. So naturally, this price here at 10,000 coins is to be expected, and he's instant selling when before he was only going for a mere few thousand coins. Now my point with this is, is that when we get Shapeshifters Team 2, whenever that comes, all you boys need to do is just go and pick up the normal versions of some of those cards. Now every single card has gone up in price now that they're out of packs. For example, Hector Bellerin would have been a few hundred coins and now he's coming in at 2.2k. So basically, when we get Shapeshifters Team 2 this Friday, what you want to do is pick up all of the normal players that you possibly can do and just hold them for a week. It's Monday today when I'm recording this, so what? four days and he's already gone up a good amount say for example you had 50,000 coins 500 coins a card that's a hundred investments that you've made to then sell on at 220,000 that would be making you a grand total of 170,000 coins just on one single investment in terms of general trading that you can do at the minute I think that fluctuation trading is probably the best way that you're going to be making coins around this new promo for example let's go and take a look at Mew Kale for example he's recently had a new centre back card now every single one of these shapeshifters cards are fluctuating massively now what I mean by this is that say for example at the minute how much is he going for let's just take a look he's going for about 73,000 coins so he's going for 73,000 now and then like an hour he could go down to 65,000 coins then back up to 77,000 coins and he's fluctuating all along the way now how do you take advantage of that now the main thing to do in my opinion is just sit and just snipe some of these players I think that if you sit and just snipe for like an hour or so pick them up with shadows hunters on them position changes already on you'll be able to make an absolute killing off just doing that and it's a consistent way to make coins as well you don't have to really think too much about what you're doing you can sit here and snipe bid whatever you need to do and just build up a pool of different players that you want to go and trade with for example I talked about Bellerin before he could be someone who just goes into the pool of players and then you'll start to be able to track the prices that they're going for and make informed decisions about those cards that you're buying for example Bellerin I know he's going at 42 now but then a bit later on he might be going for a bit more but we've just got him there with the anchor on him at 47.50 and I guarantee that with an anchor on him he'll be going for just the tiniest bit more of a premium just the tiniest tiniest bit more so how much is he going for he's going for about 43.750 so we can get 44k out of that card it took me what 20 seconds and I made coins with that but there you go boys they're your investments your trading methods and everything that you need to know about the market this week if you enjoyed this video make sure to click here and go and watch another one subscribe to my channel but this has been Lewis and I'm off Oosh.